Have you ever wondered why your doctor tells you not to eat or drink before surgery? What's the big deal? Well, today we're unraveling the mystery behind preoperative fasting guidelines. In this video, you'll learn why fasting is important, how your stomach handles different foods, the impact of medications, and expert recommendations. By the end, you'll have a clear picture of the entire process. Let's get started. Why fasting matters. Fasting before surgery means not eating or drinking anything for a certain period before the surgery. It is also known as nil per oral, meaning nothing by mouth. The purpose of preoperative fasting is to reduce the risk of pulmonary aspiration, which is the inhalation of stomach contents into the lungs. Pulmonary aspiration can cause serious complications such as pneumonia, respiratory distress, and death. Gastric physiology. Gastric emptying varies for different fluids and foods. Clear fluids like water or tea are emptied quickly, usually within two hours. Solid foods take longer, especially fatty or meaty ones. Whereas a light meal, such as toast, is usually cleared in 4-HR. Coming to milk, milk is considered a solid because when mixed with gastric juice, it thickens and congeals. Cow's milk takes up to 5-HR to empty from the stomach. Human breast milk has a lower fat and protein content and is emptied at a faster rate. Fasting Guidelines The American Society of Anesthesiologists ASA, offers recommendations. These guidelines help ensure the patient have an appropriate fasting period before elective surgery. For solid food, eight hours of fasting is must. Fasting period of six hours may be considered after a light meal, while clear fluids, water and juices without pulp, can be given up to two hours. For neonates and infants, the recommended fasting period for breast milk is four hours. While for formula milk and solids, a fasting of six hours is required. Factors affecting gastric emptying. Gastroesophageal reflux can slow solid food emptying, while raised intra-abdominal pressure increases regurgitation risk. Opioids, trauma, and anxiety can also impact gastric emptying. Controlling gastric acidity and volume. Antacids neutralize acid, reducing damage risk if aspiration occurs. H2 blockers, proton. Pump inhibitors decrease stomach acid, helping high-risk patients. Pregnant patients. Pregnant patients get ranitidine to reduce acid before surgery and during labor. Sodium citrate can neutralize any residual acid. That's all about today. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos.